just listen to the play by play, day by day. Juju from the motherfucking band, though. Yes, sir. You ready to get this kicked off? Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm ready. Here's how we're going to do this. Shit. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> talk to me nice. I don't talk to me at all. <laughs> What to do, everybody, and thanks for tuning in to the Day by Day podcast for your day by day broadcast. I am your host, Day with an I, not a Y, do not X, Y. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we will be taking a trip to the bando. Yes, we are. Because we are joined by the one and only Juju from the bando. <laughs> Drum roll, please. <laughs> Welcome to Bandoria, motherfuckers. Ooh, I like, like yeah, it's Juju from the bando, and I'm in here. And we about to chop it up. Bandoria, what's that? That's my own world. Like, mm. I feel like I created that. Yeah. And since I'm from the bando, uh -huh. I feel like one day I'm going to create a theme park called Bandoria or something. You know, like Astro World? Yeah, that's what I was thinking But of. Bandoria, but also like African ass shit. Like, you know, like we have cultural stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, helping us remember where we from. But it's like, because Bando to me don't mean like, oh my God, I'm from the Bando. I be shooting up the blocks and all this shit. You feel me? Like, Well, that's how many would take it. That I know, but I feel like that's the... The fun part about it, because you would assume that's what it is, and mm -hmm. then you ask me what it is, then mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, this just represents my struggle and just me coming from Africa and coming to America and just making a way for myself. Okay, so like, you you really come into America, not Eddie Murphy. Yeah. All right. Where? So you're originally from Africa. Mm -hmm. What part? Gambia, born and raised West Africa. Okay, West Africa, Gambia. The <laughs> <laughs> you can't. Um, <laughs> what the fuck? um okay born and raised uh so those are the that's the flag that's on your ig and whatnot yes so it's two flags over ig i, I noticed okay so it's sierra leonean flag and gambian flag okay so my parents are originally from sierra leone but then they moved to gambia and gave birth to us mm -hmm. but i think my my dad's descendants are actually from senegal which is Akon's country. So Senegal and Gambia used to be one. So okay. like if you take history class out there, so when the British and the French came to fight over the land, the mm -hmm. French got Senegal and the British got Gambia. Mm -hmm. But we technically kind of speak the same native languages and eat the same meals. Okay. So it's like, yeah, but I, my mom is from Sierra Leone. So it's kind of like different cultures just mixed in together. Which one of the two have the best food? I love African food. Um, I would say, oh my God. Do I want to say Gambia? Just look at Miss Don't look at me. <laughs> She's like, Miss Don't look at me. I don't know. Like, wait, which one? <laughs> I would say Gambian food because, you yeah. know, Africans have a jollof rice contest, right? But yeah. mostly it'd be like the Ghanaians and like the Nigerians and the Sierra Leoneans that compete. Uh -huh. Gambia and Senegal have the best jollof rice. And I think recently they had won a... Um, All right, now somebody going to come for your head for that. I know they are. And, mm -hmm. I'm, and I'm ready for that argument. Mm. But you, do, the reason why most people don't know is the best is because Nigerians are all over the world. Yeah. They're yeah, they Africans that are oh, more are. populated than others. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So it's like... More people go know their food than other countries. <laughs> okay. I like it. I like it. Um, yeah. So So when did you move to America? 2011. 2011. August 2011. On the 7th, two days before her birthday. <laughs> and, and and by her, we're talking about uh, her My sis. My sister, y'all. Shout out to sis. In the, she in the, in the background in the, yeah, with the hiccups. she in the background. She behind the scenes. Um, so <laughs> where did you move to in America? New York. Okay. New York and the beady. Yes. So you moved from Africa to New York. What part of New York? Long Island. So, you know, they don't count us, but you know, I was in Long Island or whatever. Okay. Shout out to that a lot. Like we talked about, I went to Nassau for a semester. Well, yeah. honestly, I didn't even go for a semester. I went for like Half two weeks. <laughs> he was over it. I was like, like yeah, I was like, I get the fuck out of here, yo. I, I left. I went to another JUCO in New York. I went to one in New Rochelle, Monroe. Okay. I don't know okay. if you've ever heard of it. Yeah, I've heard of Monroe. But um, yeah, I was like, I get the fuck out of here. Because I was mm. living somewhere else and you had to rely it's on people far. to get to school. Mm -hmm. And I should have stayed, but I didn't. And I was like, man, fuck y'all. I'm yeah. gone. Yeah. And All right. So you moved bad. to Long Island in 2011. How old were you then? I was 15. You was 15? Going right. on 16. We ain't, I'm, I, I said that because I'm not trying to give away your age, but like we were talking about it earlier. Like You're not 30. I'm only I'm saying not. this because 30 is a new 21. Mm -hmm. I be trying to tell people. Yeah. Especially for women. Man, women looking good at 30. That's true. God damn. I dated a 33-year-old that looked better than some 24-year-olds I yeah. messed with. 
That's true. Shit, I'm 27. I feel you like good. I, I thought you was like I thought you was like 24. Really? Oh, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. I could take that. I could take that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, then I see something on your IG. You had like some type of like transformation. Like you was a little thicker at one point. Yes. In, a, in a good way. Yes. Thicker in a good so, way. So when I moved here, I was skinny, and then we was living with my dad and my stepmom, and then. We started eating pork. We never really ate pork like that, mm. which is kind of weird. So it was like we started eating pork, mm-hmm. and it just seemed like the whole diet changed. Like yeah. It seemed like I always had a big appetite. So it seemed like when I was, um, it seemed like, <laughs> we can, we can, nah, you good. Stand up, sis. We can put a pause in this. It's, I can, Wait, I, can. I don't see her, though. That's a sound. <laughs> Yo, this is the most Yo. interesting. All right, you. So- it seems like she the be, food she might be was different. Up. Yeah, probably. Does she throw up? Sometimes in the morning, though. In the morning, after a day, of, yeah. after a night of drinking, mm-hmm. that's yeah. the worst. I think she's throwing up right now. Probably, but that's what she gets. She I mean, y'all crushed that bottle. Y'all, y'all, pr- y'all crushed that bottle pretty fucking quick. I know, and Casamigo fucks us up every time. It doesn't fail. That's why I drink Henny. <laughs> yeah, I know too. what's going on with Henny. You drink Henny? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I stopped drinking Henny because it makes me want to fuck. Like, okay, I thought she was about to say fight. Fuck no, too. fight. No, I'm not a fighter, but I could fight if I had to fight. Like, I'm sure but you can. I'm not You're African like a... and New York. I know you can fight. You ain't got to tell I'm me. I'm not like an aggressive person, but don't test me. Like, I could really turn the I fuck hear it up. coming out of your voice right now. Yeah. Oh. I ain't a killer, but don't push me. That's pretty much what you just yeah, said. Like yeah, like that. But, like, I'm a happy drunk. And if I'm drunk and I'm not doing nothing, I'm mm-hmm. going to sleep. Like, I'm the type to hype shit up. Like, oh, my God, I'm about to come home, suck some dick, and do all this extra shit, and then get home and, and go, go to, to fucking sleep. sleep. Well, see, that's why I'm kind of, I'm not even pressed to, like, turn up <laughs> as much. Because, like, if I if I know I ain't got nothing home, I have to go on a hunt. Because exactly. I hate getting drunk and not fucking them at the end of the night. Thank like, you, because it's like, what the fuck? There's no point. <laughs> Because Henny, Henny, liquor in general, but Henny especially goes straight to my dick. Yeah, Henny is different. Henny makes you want to just mm, do some, some shit out. Pull out some whips, handcuffs, rope, duct chains. tape, chains. <laughs> Candles. Yeah, uh, spatula. Ice. Ice. <laughs> Goddamn can opener, everything. Oh, and <laughs> Can't even make you want to do oh something. Yes. All right, does. but uh, to get back to the topic, of the, we're going to get back to that. Yeah. Um, you were saying that when you first came out here, you start you got introduced to pork in your yeah, diet. Yeah. So I started eating a lot of pork because we were born Muslim. It's such a long ass story. We were born Muslim. Oh man. I started going to um Dara, which is actually like the Muslim school where you learn. And I used to wear the veil and everything. But okay. then my dad moved to America. Mm. But my mom was always Christian, even though she had a Muslim like wedding. Yeah. So I guess she asked for permission mission to take us to church and my yeah. dad said okay so we just started going to church so okay. like the whole pork thing was never really a part of our lifestyle so i started eating pork and stuff was just different before i would eat a whole lot of food i always had a big appetite but i would never be like heavy set like i always was skinny like my whole life but then i came out here i just started eating different stuff and just being outside because i'm finally free first of all i had never been really that what do you free mean, what do you to mean be... free what could you have not done that was different? oh yeah my mom was very strict okay. like everything i had to do i had to sneak to do it but okay. to finally be somewhere where i didn't have to sneak to do anything like and i could just do what i want i was out late eating out late so i felt like all that weight it just started accumulating you know what okay. i'm saying but then by 2018 i kind of Keep closing. No, nah, never mind. It's good. It's By good. 2018, I kind of realized, like, oh, my God, this is really not what I want for myself. Are you good, sis? Yeah. Did you throw up? Oh, a little bit. <laughs> I actually tried to get the hiccups a little bit. Yeah. Did it go? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Listen, you got to do what you got to do. Um, you, You'll be good. I, listen, I got a remedy for that. I got you. I, I'll give you something before we get out of here. Um, so 2018, so in 2018, is that when you started getting thicker? That's when I, no, I had gradually started getting thick. Like I was getting thicker since I moved here. Just okay. everything being different. But in 2018, I was like 198. I'm like, mm. yo, what the hell? Yeah, like, that's, that's I a, just noticed it. That's but a free safety. The guys loved it though. Them niggas was on my body. Like, yeah. you feel what I'm trying to say? Was it was it proportioned in the right areas? It was proportioned. I'm very proportioned. I, I mean, then, I kind of saw a photo, but <laughs> send me a photo. I'm gonna post it on a video so that they can see. Before, and we'll do like yeah, a before I'm gonna send and you after. a photo of before and yeah, after. Yeah. But it's like I feel like 
niggas will fuck with you regardless. Like, that shit is crazy. Like, that's what I've realized. Well, it don't matter what size of my body. Like, niggas is still on it. But I feel like when I was thicker, niggas was really on it. Well, niggas like thick bitches. That shit is crazy. Niggas well, like a bitch with a fat ass. Well, let, like, me, let me break it down if I can. Break it down. The thing is, like you said, don't matter what size y'all niggas gonna be on it. Mm -hmm. You can be you can be thick as fuck. You mm -hmm. can have an ass like Pinky in her prime and mm -hmm. that pussy still be trash. Yeah. That's why, you know what I'm saying, joints be getting BBLs and all that. Okay, mm -hmm. you getting a BBL, but do your pussy hit? It don't matter how fat your ass is, how good it look, if that pussy is doo-doo, then if it don't make dry. no difference. Right. If it's dry and if it's the walls is all blown out, then what, exactly. then what the fuck are we talking about? But uh, listen, man, listen, smallest joints that had the most. But they can take dick. I don't care. Like, I feel like skinny bitches take dick and people don't want to have that conversation, but that's a fact. Let's have it. And big bitches, I heard, have warm pussy. So it's just like, you never man, know. I, I done had some big joints tap out. That before, tap out? The, tap out before a smaller joint. <laughs> really? Yeah. Hell yeah, the I shit is weird. I think smaller joints are like, they're like, they're a beast. All they wait is in they pussy. That's mm -hmm. what it is. <laughs> they be having straight hot pockets and lobster claws down there, No, bitch. they be having bad energy. Yo, yeah, that but too. But no, so then I was like, oh, nah. I just thought it, it wasn't like, oh my God, I had to lose it. But then I had asthma. And like I would go to the doctor, the doctor would be like, "It will help your breathing more, like if you lost, if some, you weight. lost some weight." So I Got went you. to the gym. Yeah. And then I started okay. smoking at the same time. But then when I went to the gym, I got addicted to the gym. So I started going in the morning before work, mm -hmm. and I would go after work, and then mm -hmm. I would do green smoothies, and I would do wheatgrass and turmeric, and you. I just started getting real healthy. Right. Yeah, good for you. I lost like forty eight pounds in three months, and mm. then people talking about I'm on crack. Oh, <laughs> my you got own small. damn family! They're like, "What you on crack? <laughs> you in Charlotte smoking crack? crack like, shut things. the fuck up!" Yeah, yeah. But long story short, I lost all that weight. Then I went from one ninety eight to one twenty three. So now I'm looking like, "Yo, what the hell?" I'm okay, looking that, real that is, skinny. Yeah, yeah. But that you is know, a big drop I think off. it was just like. I don't know. Like, I guess because I kept on going. And like I said, my family, we wasn't really heavy set. Because look at her. you And my dad, his whole life, <laughs> his whole life, he was mad skinny. You feel me? Yeah. So I feel like it was easier for me to lose the weight. And now I'm getting it back. Because last okay. year I had went to the hospital during the COVID time or whatever. Mm -hmm. And they thought I had COVID because I had asthma. So okay. it was like a flu. So they gave me like... Like this medicine called prednisone. Did you take a Did you take a, a COVID booster? Uh, yeah, I took COVID that. shot. Yeah, we took the shot. We had to take that. Well, because it worked. Because I had to go to freaking Puerto Rico, uh, and, and they was like, I need. When you was, when I went to Puerto Rico, yeah. they wasn't even gonna serve you if you don't show your vaccination sticker. Wait, what, what, what you went like 2020, 2021? 2020, What year was that? No, 2020, 2021. Okay. Was it 2020? Those were crazy times, wasn't no, it? No, During... was it twenty twenty one or twenty twenty two? This is tapped out. Yes, yeah, she is. But I, yeah, those were crazy times. And guess what? My ass was still outside. Yeah. I, I went to too. Vegas. I went everywhere. I went to New York where nobody was in the damn oh, airport. New York was like zombie land during Yo, COVID. nobody was in the airport. I was really? like, yo, what the fuck is what going What was like on? driving through New York like during COVID and whatnot? Well, it was dead. It yeah. was very, very dead. It was like everybody was in the house. Yeah. And I wasn't really driving. I was riding in the side. You was a passenger princess? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, COVID was your not little, it. Your little, you know what I mean, out there? Yeah, you know. Okay. New York know how I'm coming. Yeah. Call me, yeah, call me. Period. <laughs> 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 Mr. New York. <laughs> how, how many in New York? Is it just one? How many How many got in New York? See, I don't fuck with New York right now because I don't got no hoes out there no more. What happened to the dude during Corona? Oh, he done for. Her. He was just like a temporary thing. He flew yeah. me out, so I went. Oh, right. And I was like, oh, I'm off of work. They're giving me unemployment. You want to fly me out? Yeah, 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 fly me out, and I know you. So he, let me tell you what I did, though. I did some grimy ass shit. So he flew me out, right? Uh -huh. I made this nigga pay for my ticket to fly me out. I went to the crib. We chilling or whatever. So I'm just like, then all of a sudden, it's mad people at the crib. Like, mm. you know those people that have mad fucking friends. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, I don't need all these people knowing I'm over here on some sneaky link yeah. ass shit. You know yeah, when you yeah. just get out of a relationship, you just want a little sneaky link, right? So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to be back. I'm going to go to my friend's house. He called me an Uber. He called me an Uber. I went to my friend's house. I didn't come back. Was your friend a guy or a girl? It was a girl. It was a girl. I knew her okay. from like, you know, a while back. Like and she you... lived in the Bronx. So okay. I was like, let me just go over to this bitch house because I was kind of feeling uncomfortable. So I left. I went to her house and we hit up. And then, yeah. So y'all hooked up? <laughs> Let's talk about it. You and her hooked up. Yeah. 
So so damn, he fucked that money all up. And then after up. that, I was like, you know what? Fuck this nigga. I'm about to be out anyways. Because I was supposed to be there for two days. So I went, linked yeah. up my friend, did what we did. I just... He fucked that money all up. So instead of, first of all, so you went over his crib. Instead of y'all doing what y'all got to do, he invited other niggas over. Friends talking about, oh, this shit was already, I guess it was a, a pre-planned get together. Like, nigga, you see the motherfuckers nah, every I would've, I would've. day. You pull up you to know, my you shit. You probably could have got some players, some yeah, shit. You pull up. Remember on uh, Low Down Dirty Shame? She's like, how do you feel now, motherfucker? No, how you feel now, you dumb motherfucker? You could have got yourself some pussy and <laughs> no, shot his ass. Real? That was like that. Nah, he fucked that money up. So we had you over there looking how and you look. like free flight. Yeah. Shit. And you was probably over there looking popping too. Your popping. legs and shit was out. Yep. Body was bodying and all that Wait, type shit. It was kind of cold. I told oh, I cold. Even <laughs> I had some sweats. Oh, you had those sweats? That's probably why. <laughs> like, man, she over here sweats and shit, like, man. Y'all pull up. It's the, she's like, this the homie over here. Y'all pull up. Right, <laughs> like, no, for real. Like, I'm chilling with one of the guys. <laughs> nah, nah, but still on the real I think though. I always give off those vibes sometimes because I'm really like an in betweener. But if it's a sneaky link, it's a sneaky link. It is a sneaky link. Because like, I know you ain't fly me out yeah, just to. Just, yeah. So and you, like, let's keep it a bug. If a yeah. nigga flying you out, he want to fuck. Did like, y'all fuck before? Me and him, yeah. no. But he could have got it that day. You feel me? Cause we. But that's what I'm saying. If a nigga fly you, you out, he want to fuck. That's just what that is. You dumb motherfucker. <laughs> I hope he watching this. You listen. I'm I'm for, I'm Hall of Fame when it comes to fumbling yeah. a bad bitch. I know what it's like, but I don't fumble with that. If she in my, yeah. Whatever. yeah but yeah, um, okay, so you. But see, that's the thing. Like. That shit was a fumble. And I was like, well, yo, was you know what? Thank God. Because I got me a little free flight. And, and, I feel and, like, and you got some action from your homegirl. Yeah, so let's talk about that. Yeah, some actual action. How did that go? It was great. Yeah? Yeah. Did y'all um, did y'all strap each other? No. I don't do straps. I'm good on that. Like, I'm good on that. Like, so I'd rather just, just the real thing. So y'all just ate? I just rather, like, get my shit ate. And yeah. probably like a vibrator on my clip. So you like so you so like clitoral pen, you like clitoral stimulation more clitoral than penetration. Clitoral stimulation and like more than penetration. More than penetration, like you're not the, with that plastic shit. I don't want to be penetrated with no damn plastic you're shit. You're the second girl to say that. Um, have you ever been penetrated with a plastic? Dildo? Yeah, and it was terrible. What's what's the difference between that and a real? It's dick? just mad plastic. Yeah. <laughs> so you and your home girl. Um, was that the first time you had sex with a girl? No. Oh my God. My mama's not gonna see this, right? It's up to you. Oh my she God. Sees it or not. She don't. I blocked her on Instagram. Sorry, Mama Juju. Listen, my but, grand uh, my grandmother watches this. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. My grandmother, my my coworkers. <laughs> I can't hide the shit no more. My coworkers watch it. I just I've just come to the fact where fuck it. It is yeah, what it is. I have been with a girl before. How many times? A lot of times. Yeah. So you're by. I don't know. See, that's the thing. Like, what the fuck do you mean you don't know? No, you've see, had the... sex with multiple women. Oh Jesus Christ! Oh my God, it's in the cup. Are you sure? Uh, yeah, you good? Yeah, it's, it's in, in the, the cup. cup. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I she got this. She one thing about she gonna throw up cool, calm, and collectively. Look at you my know, phone on the floor. You know what that's called? What? Um, what's it called? Boot. Boot and rally. Okay, um, let's put a let's put a pause on me. Listen, listen. You talking to a nigga that gets it in? You yeah. ain't got to keep apologizing yeah, to me. Yeah, honestly, I'm I'm just glad you 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 held it together. Like, yes. Because when I heard that shit, I'm like, oh fuck my cover. Your sis was on it. She had your. She's like, nah. She threw up in the cup. I'm like, you sure she threw up in the fucking cup? That shit sounded crazy. And then, no, lo and behold, she pulled the cover back. You got the cup her hand. I'm like, okay, yeah, she professional. I fuck with that. You got to throw that. up cutely. You yeah, I fuck with that. Like... Nah, that was hard. I've never seen that before. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, because bitches, yo. Yo. You know somebody threw up on me in a club before? We threw up on you? We talk about that shit. I was so fucking pissed. Threw up on you. Wait, first of all, why did I feel like she was on some hating ass shit? Because first of all, we come to the club. This bitch got on the same outfit as me in a different color. Oh yeah, y'all was. And then we pop bottles. We got a bottle of Henny and Ciroc. She done faced the whole Ciroc because she likes Ciroc. But you know Ciroc, I don't fuck with Ciroc. I don't either. Because when Ciroc came out, that shit used to fuck me up. Ciroc, Bacardi, none of that shit. Them back in the day shit. But long story short, she done down the whole bottle. Next thing I know, in the club, in the section. 
my best friend was acting more paranoid than I was. I don't know if it's because I was drunk or Probably I was, was just you, like you was calm. trying you was trying you was trying to stay in your good mood. Right. And I didn't want her to feel bad. So I was Fuck and that. then I had a share outfit on so I could just wash it off. But it was disgusting. Yeah, that's nasty. <laughs> I, I um it was one time me and my cousin shot uh R.I.P. Kendall. Mm -hmm. We was um it was me, him, and uh this one girl I used to mess with. Mm -hmm. And um, she was in the back seat. We was all crushing goose. We was parked crushing goose, smoking and shit. Mm -hmm. And um, <laughs> we was in Kindle car. Mm -hmm. So she in the back seat. And she's like, can you roll down the window? This mm -hmm. nigga turned around quick as shit. He was like, what you about to throw up? <laughs> Look, he opened up the door quick as shit. said, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Get it about you. Get it about right. you. Get it about you. She get the Earl and shit. I'm thinking it's over. We get to my crib. She started throwing I had up. a sofa in my room and she earled on the sofa too. It was leather, but mm -hmm. still that smell would stay with. I had to throw the sofa out. Like the, the smell would not mm -hmm. leave. That yeah. alcohol smell be strong. But anyway, let's get back to the story. So um, <coughs> you were saying uh, you're not bisexual, but you've had sex with multiple women. How does that work? I don't know. I just feel like I don't want to label myself. It's like the day he... So what are you, trisexual? Try anything? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Try sexual. Call me a trisexual. Okay. I think I'm just a curious person. Like, okay. So what's, what's curiosity after like the first time? Is it no? It's 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 uh, it's um, it's pleasure after the first time. I just time. feel like I just know I can't be in a relationship with a girl. I just feel like a lot of girls say that. Yeah, like we can make, like we can not, but like yeah. I know we can be in a relationship because you're gonna be acting like me. The fuck, I'm already agitating. Like yeah, imagine that too. What's the most curious thing you've done with a woman? <clears throat> with a woman? Or sexually in general? What's the most? Since you said you're curious, what's the most curious thing you've done? Well, I fisted a girl and I fucked somebody in the ass, a nigga in the ass before. You fucked a nigga in the ass and you fisted a girl. All right, let's go down the checklist. All oh right, my first God. and foremost, <laughs> oh my you God. fisted a girl. So that means you had your whole fist in her pussy or her yes. ass. Oh my God. Hey, oh my God. You should the girl was some some nigga I was fucking with, baby mama. She oh, was trying shit. to fight me over the nigga. Next thing you know, she go, Oh yeah, you should pull up so we could talk. After she done popped my fucking tires. It was so crazy, bro. This bitch done popped my tires over this nigga while he was laid up upstairs with me. This bitch done ran up in the house while I with this nigga. She like Nine years older than me. Long story short, she go, yeah, we should link up so we could talk. So I'm like, boom, we could link up. But I was pissed because I was really fucking with the nigga. I was fucking with the nigga for the summer. The okay. nigga asked me for a loan to get a car. So I gave him three bands. Get mm. a car. He done put the fucking car in the baby mama name. Mm. This bitch pulled up in the car. She mm. pulled up to talk to me in my car. So you're I'm a, like. You're a hell of a person. Oh, yeah, I was just mm, back okay. in the day. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Like, I was getting fast money. So it wasn't okay. like I was, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Got like, you, got you, got you. so long story short, she was like, <clears throat> She was like, yeah, we need to talk. I'm so sorry for popping your tires. I'm like, I'm going to pull up with a knife. That's what I told her. I'm like, I don't mind talking to you because you're doing a whole lot. You ain't mm -hmm. about to just be popping up. Because when she popped my tires, I pulled up to her crib with my best friend and egged her crib. Come to find out you live with your mama. Now your mama mad because we done mm -hmm. egged her damn crib. Yeah. Like, So we talking, we talking. She brought a tailor for it. Uh, the so T-Pain. Yes. That's, so she's telling me. Hold on. I'm sorry. Before we get back. The first time I had T-Pain, <laughs> a.k.a. Teleport, was in New York at <laughs> really? JUCO, 2014. And then like three, four years later, that's when the world caught wind. And, mm -hmm. But um, okay, go ahead. New York been on to yeah, Taylor Teleport. Yeah, Teleport is old as fuck in New York. But go ahead. So we got some. She brought the Teleport. So she pulled up in my car. Great penny. So we talking, we talking. She telling me all the bullshit this nigga been doing for years. So I'm looking like, I'm like, girl. When he told me who the love of his life was, it wasn't even you. So I don't even know who you is. But long story short, we done got messed up. So she starts like, looking at my neck Ooh. and shit. So I'm like, oh shit, this bitch is wildin'. So mm. we like, we talking, we talking. So I'm like, rubbing on her shit. Mm. So she eat my shit. So I'm mm. like, nah, I'm not eating this bitch shit. She wildin'. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, rubbing on her shit with my fingers. So I'm like, putting my fingers in there. She's skinny as fuck too. So I'm mm. putting my fingers. I'm like, yo, I just keep adding. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the more yeah. I put, the more it goes in. So I'm like, yo, what the fuck? It's taking all my shit. Like, so I just keep putting it in there. And she was liking it. I was like, yo, what the fuck? And then she was squaring all the car. I was like, yeah, you might as well squaring this shit. I'll pay for it. Like, 
And then after that, this bitch talking about you want to be my girlfriend. No, bitch. I don't want to be your fucking girlfriend, you dumbass bitch. So I she was, was just trying to make you look stupid. So she was your wristwatch at some point. Yeah, it was, this whole shit was in there. Wow. And then the baby father got mad talking about how you going to let this little young bitch play you like that. And I couldn't even get involved. Like, nigga, fuck out of here. Wow. But then I wasn't done with the bitch because I was still mad. She punched my fucking tires. Like, so then so what happened? she started, she wanted to come out with me and my homegirls. So we went to Fridays, right? Mm -hmm. So we went to Fridays. <laughs> that was a devious look. Like some shit about to get out. So we went to Fridays. I was driving. So I picked everybody up. We all under 21. She yeah. older, right? So we go to Fridays. We ordering mad drinks on this bitch ID. We ordering mad drinks, mad food. Yo, so I go, yo, I gotta go to my car and go get my wallet. My homegirl go, I gotta go smoke a cigarette. This bitch don't even smoke cigarettes. That's how you know you so some bullshit. Y'all pulled a banana in the tailpipe on <laughs> her we ass. left this bitch. It was like four of us. We left her ass over there and we dipped off. And I dipped off in my car and I changed my place the next day. Fuck is you talking about? Just in case she ain't pay for this shit. They can't come look for me because New York, they be like, oh, these motherfuckers was dashing and dining. And we was, we, we racked that shit up. Mm. Like, we Food, had drinks. drinks. Yeah. We we was not old enough to have drinks. It was just a lot going on. You okay? Yeah. You want a cup? Did you ever did you ever see or hear from her again? Yeah, she hit me up a few years ago. But not even a few years ago. Probably like a year ago. Yeah. Like, oh, I got something to say. I was like, bitch, I don't fuck with you. Leave me alone. Like, I'm trying to leave my past in the mm -hmm. past. Mm -hmm. Like, some shit was just ratchet and ghetto and just unnecessary like you fighting me over this nigga and i done left you probably still fighting another bitch well let's talk about nigga. a more positive sexual experience with a woman because that Ooh. one was kind of like toxic and whatnot i mean it was toxic but fun because i got well, to the fist somebody ones, yeah that was yeah that's i've never fisted a chick before i know i mean i well can't my hands well fisted. you know our, our hands are a little so. yours are bigger so you can't be fisted no i'm good on that you sure you shouldn't have blown out no <laughs> I just, that's why it was so dope to me because it's like it was pleasure for her because you know how everybody's different that's why yeah. I seen this question online where it's like I don't even know why niggas be fucking different bitches because sex is the same sex is not the same with every bitch nah. bitches got different shape pussy different moisture different look different different grip flexibility I'm glad you said that because people like when, when a dude be like yo she had trash pussy women be like if the pussy was trashed and you was trashed, no, there's such thing as trash pussy. Right, right. Like, absolutely. I done had some shit that was blown up. I done had some shit that was wet at first and get dry two mm -hmm. seconds later. I had some some shit that no matter what you did, it just it's didn't get good. as wet. Mm -hmm. I done had some shit that was goddamn a uh, tsunami mm -hmm. compared to other shit. It's yeah. such thing as trash Everybody's pussy. Different. Like, why do women think like there's no such thing? You, sis said that's not true. <laughs> she throw it up, but she had to yeah, get yeah, her she up. had to get that out. There's such thing as trash pussy, sis. You're saying that's not true. There's such, listen, I done had some shit that was trash. massive, and I know it was massive because I had it when it was cool at first. And oh, I spent, so it don't got loose. Yeah, See, and I that's spent the, the bend, question I be asking. And I right? spent the bend two years later, and that shit a nigga dropped a grenade in that bitch. Re not a, gra a baby. Wait, let me. She ain't even have no baby. You really do got asthma. Hold on, yeah, I got <laughs> The conversation is serious. That's why it's she had to take Yeah, having an asthma attack. But, um, she didn't even you. have a baby. Yeah, some people be having gigantic ass dicks, and that shit should be illegal. I'm tired of girls acting like, oh my God, I just want a big dick, and you're hurting for real. Let me tell you, that's one thing we need to get out of the society. Stop acting like... When that shit is humongous, it's painful. So it's what's, like... What's, what's a good size for Juju? I don't know the inches, but, like, I just know average is good enough. Like, because average is, like, it just hits all the right spots. It gets you wet. It's not, like, wiggling in your shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just right. But then the big, it's like, oh, my God. Like, what the fuck? Me, personally... Mm -hmm. If your shit is too big, I'm a pass because I'm not about to play myself because I know I'm not about to have no pleasure in this shit. Like what, is it unless be all painful? it's just gonna be a, a whole lot of pain. It don't matter if you eat my pussy and it's wet and all of this shit, right? Mm -hmm. Once you put it in, like it might feel good in the moment, but it's like let's say I nut, mm -hmm. it's gonna dry up. You know how women are. Like sometimes when you nut, it's like your body kind of needs to regroup again. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. I feel like big dicks are painful that's mm. how i feel i just feel like and do you then, prefer length or girth a little bit of both one or the other juju do you prefer length or girth 
Can only pick one. Oh my god! So that means to be girthy but kind of <laughs> short, or lengthy but kind of skinny. Can I get lengthy with a splash of girth? Just a just a just a tad bit. <laughs> just a tad bit. <laughs> See, I don't mind. I think lengthy is good because it could go like all curvy. Curvy is good. Curvy. <laughs> I, I'm, I don't mean to give TMI, but I kind of do. The other day, I was I was um. <laughs> Let's just say I was with a chick. I was with a chick house. Uh-huh. And my shit was like, like Rottweiler hard. <laughs> hard like Rottweiler. Uh-huh. And like, I was looking in the mirror and I noticed, yo, my shit got a curve to the left. <laughs> my shit got a slight curve right. to the left. I was like, okay, that's what be doing it. I'm like, yo, like what be doing it? Like to them, like, I'm like, oh, my shit got a little curve in it. So I guess that's the shit that hit the, that the back of the side G spot. <laughs> that G spot that be in like the back side pocket. I think that's what it be. My shit got that slight left curve. curve. I'm yeah, telling you, if yeah. it got a little. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, I'm slight crying. Slight a bend. slight bend, uh-huh. yes. <laughs> you crazy as hell. Baby. That's oh, funny. Um, but yeah. Let's 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 talk about music for a second. Okay. <laughs> Cause at the end of the day, you are an artist. I am. That's why I love this. I love how like people think this is a music podcast. No. Yes. No matter what you do, when you come on here, I'm gonna show like we're gonna show the personality side to your fan base that they've never seen before. This is not exactly. a music podcast. And you but... know, I don't think my fans have ever heard half of the shit that I'm telling you right now. I bet they haven't. No, they haven't. They mm. just think I'm like. I don't know. I don't what do know what think? the fuck my fans think of me. Well, let me let me tell you what I thought of you without, before meeting you. Just yes. off of your music Instagram. and your voice. I was thinking, okay, she cool. Uh, she might be a little conservative. We'll see. I don't know. I don't know what to make of it. I know you have. A, I like your voice. That's one thing I liked about you. <laughs> Thank you. Your yeah, one freestyle you did on the balcony. I really liked your voice. Oh like, you. yeah. Yeah. At home, yeah. 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 I really like your voice. Um, I was like, okay. I thought she was. The flag I couldn't recognize, so I thought it was an island flag. Okay, yeah. Because you give island vibes. I do. People think I'm from the islands, for yeah. real. Because it's the African mixed with New York accent mm-hmm. that gives that off. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I was like, okay, she's pretty. she got a nice body. She shows it. You know what I'm saying? Not like that, but you show it. I do be you doing have, too much. You, have, I, you don't be doing too much. You have OnlyFans? No. You don't be doing too much. Like I if, feel like I be, be showing my body because I notice that it gives me more impressions whenever I post something that has yeah. to do with my song. <laughs> yeah. And sometimes it's so annoying, even though I'm very comfortable hey. with my skin. Hey. But I be annoyed sometimes, like, damn, can y'all just like my rap without nope. me showing a little bit nope. of ass cheese? Why you think Ice Spice got to hit that bend over, put her hand on a taco pouch? Because <laughs> people that's, like that's, that ass. Come on, now. Nah. I fight be like... And that's it. That's it. <laughs> Come on now. Like women, I've noticed that on IG, like it'd be women yeah, with like ten K plus. Though. It is what it is. And if no, you want to keep sad it going, because well, what the if, fuck? I don't want to show my ass all the time. I mean, I want to show my ass when I feel like it. Well, do that, but I just mean, just don't. Do. Yeah, just don't expect to not show it and get a whole bunch of impressions. I that's know. It. It's I mean, the hey, it, given. It is what it is. Like yeah. you see joints like ten K. Is it was one joint? I was looking at her IG. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I ain't even gonna call her out because she was supposed to be on here one episode, but she bluffed. So fuck her for real, for real. But that period. She was um. She has you know a cool little following, and I mm-hmm. noticed. Everything she does, whether mm-hmm. it's working out, whether it's walking her dog, mm-hmm. whatever it is, her ass it's is out. Mm-hmm. That's all it is. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, that's why she getting the likes. When she posted like a regular workout jump mm-hmm. with her ass in it, mm-hmm. nothing. Mm-hmm. I'm like, well, hey, you know what I mean? But That's um, what I'm saying. I be trying to, I want to do just enough, but not too much. I fuck with it. Because you don't do too much. Like, I don't like... Oh, you, you, like I don't see like yet. I've never seen your IG or nothing in a thong, mm-hmm. a yeah. G string. Like you don't have, have like the probably in the um reels. Like if you go under okay. the reels, sometimes yeah. what I do is I'll archive my shit. Okay, but not on no like I have on a bra and a thong, but probably yeah. like a photo shoot. Okay, because I know sex sells. It does. So yeah, I've never seen nothing crazy with your joint. Um, like I've never seen you wear like shoestring bra or nothing. Yeah, like that. no. Um, Maybe if my boobs were done, <laughs> I might be wearing some shoestring straps. You never like done like like stiff, <laughs> like just sitting up. <laughs> I mean, yo, your joints are crazy. You, I know, you but done? they're not done. You don't need them done. I want them done. <clears throat> oh Jesus Lord, what the blood clots? Uh, you okay? You good. Good, oh, sis. all right. <laughs> but anyway, um, wait. So, what are you saying about done? W- will you get your boobs done? 
I probably would. Like, get what done to them? Yeah. So, the thing is, from the outside if looking I get in, it done, immaculate. I'm not going to put no silicones. I really just want to lift. I don't want it done. Okay. I just wanted it, like, lifted up where it could just stay up. You know what I'm saying? Like, where it don't matter if I have kids, I could still breastfeed, but my boobs are perky. Like, what you know what I'm saying? So, I used to be a 38 double D. I think I'm a 36 C now because I lost weight. Oh, yeah, so when my you boobs lost weight, were bigger. You lost some of the boobs. Oh, the boobs oh and I lost some of the ass too. Really? Oh yeah, my ass was definitely fatter. And yeah, I was post some before and, and after. And it's like yes, and then it's like even from probably like six months ago to me gaining this little bit of weight because I've gained like fifteen pounds since six months ago. Mm -hmm. You could see the difference. Like my pictures on Instagram be confusing because my weight fluctuates. So like one day you would see me low key down, she got fat ass, and then mm -hmm. the next day she done lost like ten pounds, so the fat ass done went down, but. Mm -hmm. It comes mm. back, so it's kind of weird, but I'm fine with it. You have a good size now. You you have yeah. an ass on you now. Yeah, kinda, I right? do. But I wish yeah. it was like. Do you want to show it, <laughs> guys? I'm gonna show y'all at the end. At the end. When I'm leaving out. Okay. Yeah, we'll so y'all sure can to, see it's fat. We'll be sure to keep it's the cameras fat, rolling. and it be um it jiggling the pants or whatever. It do. Sometimes that's important. Some it is fake, important. Some of these fake joints don't even be moving. <laughs> I think I have like a firm body though, because I used to do track when I was yeah, younger. Yeah, you, I could. You said you worked out, and you just have like a type of body of someone that used to work out, and mm -hmm. those are usually they have some like, firmness. You mm -hmm. don't want like straight, uh, like, right? I don't like he woman, but mm -hmm. you want something that's a little firm. You don't want no droop boot, <laughs> no jig too dro jiggly. Yeah, droop boot. <laughs> that's I'm, the worst. Where you just walking, everything jiggling. Trademark droop boot is droopy, droopy, boot. droopy booty. Droopy boot. Droop boot. You don't want a droop boot. I don't want a droop boot. Yeah, as long as you ain't got boot. no droop boot, you good. <laughs> Niggas love droop boots. Droop boots hit different when you hit it from the back. Tell the truth. Because that well, should be like When I say droop jiggly. boot, I literally mean an ass that's drooping. <laughs> I'm not talking about a fat ass. I'm talking about an ass that's drooping. It's drooping. It's like, a lot of bitches that they should be drooping. Grandma butt. <laughs> and, they, and they 30s got grandma butt. Damn. Yeah. It's crazy that's out here. That's a real thing. Hell yeah. Droop boot. You don't got to droop with those. Oh, okay. Well, let's talk about this. Um, your song Bubble Butt mm -hmm. um, has like what, like nine million engagements on mm -hmm. TikTok or some mm -hmm. shit. Um, nice song. Well, it's actually the hashtag. Okay. So Bubble Butt, when it first came out, it charted in Austria at number eleven on iTunes because really? they loved it so fucking much, wow. which is kind of cool. I should um, be on that free. I made huh? that song on a freestyle on a drunk night off the Casamigos, mm -hmm. and we just had came from the club, and then I was supposed to just be hopping on somebody else's beat for real. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, let me hop on here. I did a little freestyle. It wasn't hitting. So the person that was engineer was like, you should do a twerk song. Mm -hmm. So I was just like, oh, bubble butt. And I just started twerking in the studio. And I literally made that song on one go. I ain't stop to say, let me punch in. I kind of remembered where to put my hook and everything. Mm -hmm. It was just... <laughs> And I was like, he a rich nigga, yeah, send him my way. Ah, bubble bag. Because bitches want a rich nigga. Let's talk about it. Do you but, want a rich nigga? Um, I want to be a rich nigga. I'm going to just say it like so, that. So do you want to be taken care of? I saw a tweet today by Young Miami said when he's rich but he don't trick, red flags. Do you want to be tricked on? No, I think that's dumb. To be honest, I honestly feel like if a nigga fuck with you, that shit shouldn't even be tricking. It should be he want to do some shit for you. Like, plain and simple. Like, and second of all, if I'm getting my own bag, you don't need to be fucking tricking on me, nigga. I trick on you. I'm the type of bitch to trick on a nigga. Like, I'm not even about to sit up here and be on some funny ass shit. But Just I've done no. shit in my past. <laughs> like, like, I just told you the story. About the nigga I gave some bread to get a car type yeah. shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had a nigga that I was fucking with. That nigga still got on the chain. I put some money on fucking on his new bitch. You still got on the rollie I bought fucking on your new bitch. Mm. Like, see, that's the thing. If I'm getting money, we getting money. Like, that shit don't matter who, who doing what. Like, it should just be, I fuck with you. I'm doing this for you. And when you a boss, you don't give a fuck what nobody else got. As long as they're treating you good. And that's, I feel like as celebs, we y'all already got money. Y'all sending the wrong ass fucking message. Because niggas is tricking and y'all unhappy as fuck. Like, mm -hmm. the fuck, I could buy myself whatever the fuck I want. Like, if you're going to come to the picture, just come correct. That's it. Like, mm -hmm. and if you want to buy me something, I'm going to appreciate it. Mm -hmm. you 
you know, and I feel like if I already get what I want, if you get me something, I'm gonna appreciate it even more because it's like, oh, I don't have this, yeah. and it doesn't have to be big, like. Yeah. And people be wanting shit they can't afford. Like, how you want a nigga to get you a crib and a car? You can't even afford that shit your damn self. Can you get him a car? Nope. Or a crib, like nope. bitches be broke for real, and I don't like that. I feel like as women, we need to go get it. Don't be sitting waiting for somebody to come take care of you, like, and they're gonna take care of you and leave and go take care of another younger bitch. Cause the older you get, you lose your value and your pussy get loose, and then it's another younger bitch that's eighteen that they could spend more money on, cause it's tighter, like. I don't know. That's just how I feel. I ain't fucking with no nigga because you got the bag. I mean, of course, like, I don't want to fuck with no bomb that I know you ain't. You don't have no goals. You're not doing nothing. Like, you, everybody needs to have plans. Like, have some type of shit that you're looking forward to and you're doing stuff to achieve that. But I'm not expecting you to be out here. Like, bitches be like, oh, he needs to make, like, 60K. Bitch, you don't make 60K. You know, make like, let's be for real. Like, in reality, most people don't make 60K in America. People go to college and make, like, 50, 45K. Mm -hmm. Like, how you sitting over there working at fucking McDonald's or you on a podcast on all these podcast people on Instagram, they just be talking, but like be living fake lives because y'all not really getting paid that much. Like, let's be for real. Like, you talking about you want a six figure nigga? Like, I don't know. That's just how I feel. That's why I'm on a uh, the road to be my own boss. So when you come around, it's because I fuck with you, not because you buy me shit. Like, I don't know. That shit is such a weird ass culture right now. Like, everybody want a sugar daddy, and the sugar daddies is the worst because they're like everything the old niggas they're like booty holes it don't even matter as long as you got some type of hole to offer <laughs> the old niggas they be freaky. want that shit i'm telling you and that's the sad part it's a lot old of young freak bitches fucking with old niggas putting all their old energy in you for a couple oh, bands shit. like hey, i don't know <laughs> I, don't, I, I can't even really comment much on you just like laid that shit out first of all let me say you're a hell of a woman because i Thank you. I, I really like, you just laid that shit out. I mean, what, what the fuck do I like? Yo, that was very much on point. I'm gonna just say life. To to piggyback on what you said, life is much bigger than social media. It is, and that's what people got to get fucked up. I people just, don't get it. I just posted something on my story uh, about this. Life is so much bigger than social media. Women, y'all see this shit that you think every nigga need a trick on you. You're gonna fuck around and miss out on something good. And dudes, y'all think y'all gonna do that. You're gonna fuck around and run all your money into the ground. Now, if you in your forties, fifties, and you can afford it, then it ain't tricking if you got it, even though right. it's still tricking. Mm -hmm. But niggas being a twenties, thirties, thinking, oh, I gotta spend all my money on a bitch. Mm -hmm. Next thing you know, you and the bitch still gonna cheat. Like let's keep, let's make okay let's make this clear money ain't gonna stop nobody from cheating you can get this bitch all the money in the world and the next nigga gonna give her more money and she gonna fuck because that means that's all the fuck she care about ain't no morals like nope. I just feel like if a bitch is just all about tricking whoever offers the most money is who fucking that's just right. what it is yeah. like let's stop talking about oh like don't worry sis we gonna get you we gonna get you on here soon when it's you like. We all want to be taken care of, but being taken care of is different ways. Like, somebody could cook you breakfast. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Somebody oh, yeah. could send you flowers or That's just everything. text you just, good morning. Like, it doesn't necessarily have to be, like, I'm a, um, buy me shit. I'm going to say this how you said in the beginning uh, a couple minutes ago. You were saying how, like, well, if a nigga really feeling you, he going to do that shit without you asking. That's Thank you. That's the whole fucking thing right if i feel energy from you that you want to be tricked on mm -hmm. that you want a nigga to spend a bag on you that you sit around with your hand out then that shit will turn me away from doing it now if you just playing your part and if you just by my side and if you just really a real one that's down for me 10 toes i'm gonna take care of you without you asking i'm gonna surprise you with shit because that's just what it is and i feel like gifts are reciprocated like yeah. you know what i'm saying it shouldn't be oh he bought me this. He bought me a Chanel bag. That's the only thing you see on Instagram. Niggas buying gifts. It's Valentine's Day. Niggas buying gifts. It's always that one female, of course, that's going to post what she bought for her nigga. But yeah. it's never... Or bought her for herself. Right, right. And for real. Or buy it for... Exactly. It that's out. why me, I don't even post that type of shit online. Because that's not y'all concern for real. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even though social media is just what it is. But I just feel like it needs to be vice versa. And you are what you attract. Like... Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You gonna attract what you are. So like, that's just how I feel. It's like what you around is what you attract. How you behave is what you attract. Like, 
You're on point, Juju. Um, you mentioned that older dudes, they like, you know, uh, freaky shit like butthole pleasure or whatnot. Let me ask you, because I'm going to ask every woman this, because I've done a day-by-day -day study. Okay. And one in every four women, one in every, at least one in every four women has done this. Uh -huh. I've done my research. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> oh, Jesus you Lord. You she still throw it up. It's not going to stop. It's bad. It's in the family. The other day, I had to go to the emergency room because I had a long island IC1. I thought I got poisoned. Boy, them L.I., them, them long island. And islands. you know that's my drink in the club. Ask me what I want, a long island IC, because I know when I have It'll one, fucked I'm fucked up. Just I one. Two. <laughs> Just one. One of the only few drinks that ever made me throw it was off of a extreme long island I see mm -hmm. from TGIF. Yeah. You filthy motherfuckers. <laughs> you filthy That's motherfuckers. My spot. They got this. Man, I ordered a extra it was like a, a extreme or extra long island I see, right? Mm -hmm. I ordered it. I look at the bar to the dude making it. He has about two bottles in each hand completely upside down. You pouring it. Moving. And I'm like, okay, fuck it. Man, I had I only had like one or two and I got home and I was early. The, let me tell you the secret. The gay bars are the cheapest and they give you the most liquors. You know, straight men don't go to gay bars. I was gonna say, I'll never but find as out. a bitch, that's if you too, wanna spend risky. ten dollars and be that's fucked up, go to the gay bars. That's too risky for straight men. It is, but you know, I went to this one, the guy was like, Yeah, it be straight men coming up in here just for the price. I'm like, boy, they ain't straight. <laughs> yeah, nah, nah, they DL. They like a little bit of South. They DL. That's a lot of DL and niggas out here. let me tell you, it's a, bro. That's a lot that's of DL so niggas out sad. here. That's so sad. That's so sad because I, this is how I feel about the whole thing, right? Mm -hmm. You like what you like. We live in a generation where you could be free. Just yeah. make it open because it's a lot of shit out here. You should not be out here fucking on bitches and niggas at the same time. It's yeah, a lot of people right. doing that. And they be mad when they get exposed. You exposed because you ain't living your truth. Like, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Truth. Because you be, work it's at, women that's with that shit. It's women that marry bisexual men. Some mm. women, they want a man so much, they really don't care. Or some women are really that fucking freaky that they like that type of shit. So mm. you know what I'm saying? Could you? No. Mm. I know. I mean, I've done it because it's something I've seen in, on porn, and I really wanted to try it. And wait, it felt good to make wait, a man my bitch. But... Wait, so how did that go? You had a, well, you had two men, and they was... Oh, no. Okay, okay, boom. Let me tell you yeah, this story. Let's, let's, I was in college or okay. whatever, right? All right, all right? So, boom. So, my friend was like, yo, let's get on Tinder. I'm going to get on Tinder. You know, mm -hmm. everybody was on Tinder in yeah. college. And POF. Hey, POF. POF. I done caught a few fish on POF. P First of all, POF was a mess. When I, it's like you just see everybody in your fucking school on there. Like, why are that? I'm not seeing you on here. Tinder was everyone I seen. POF had like older joints. Yes, like, I done and all the shit freaks and the Ooh. creeps that want to snatch you up. I remember I almost got snatched up. Well, different somebody off a of POF. Damn, but that's, yeah, that's, that's wild. So okay. she was like, "Get on Tinder." So I go into this how I'm talking to this guy. So I, I, he was white. First of all, I should have knew that shit was gonna go all the way left. He was white, but he was cute. I was like, "Oh, whatever." I'm in Boston, like. <laughs> Let's try something a little white. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah something different. <laughs> so we like, Interracial. okay, bet, right? So we talking, we talking. He like, oh, I'm going to take you on a date. I think that was my second time going to Cheesecake Factory. It was like 2014. So okay. I'm like, oh, shit, I like cheesecake this Cheesecake Factory, spot. nice. Like, yeah, right. nice. Okay. He, he like, you can get anything you want. Am I even a oh, cheesecake wow. type of person? All right. Well, I mean, this bitch, imagine, I'm, I was barely even 18 when I went to college. Uh -huh. I turned 18 in college, so I was moving real fucking fast. Yeah, gotcha. And I couldn't get snatched. Think yeah. about it. So we talking, we talking, whatever. So he took me on a date. It was good. So next time, we chilled again. So he brought me to his penthouse. I'm like, oh, shit. Like, he got the oh, penthouse? This is, oh, this okay. is, yo, I was like, oh, this is nice. Just yeah. being young minded and dumb yeah, as fuck. Yeah, yeah. So now he's showing me all types of alcohol. All types of shit I just never even see. Alcohol in condom wrappers, alcohol in like just stuff you could sneak into your dorm. So it, cause our dorm was, you know, alcohol yeah, yeah, yeah. under age. Right. So he had alcohol, like a condom wrapper, but uh -huh. it's alcohol inside. Okay. But if you've seen it, you would think it's a freaking condom wrapper. What is it, like a shot? Cause it condom. Was a shot. Okay, gotcha. So I'm like, oh, and he like, yeah, you could take whatever you want. I'm bribing yeah. me and shit. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, good. So I'm fucked. Up. Like, oh my God, what's going on? I'm spinning. So, just like that, I was spinning. <laughs> so, so y'all ended up drinking and you were spinning? 
Yeah, I'm a spinner. So I was like, so I was like, oh, so what are your fantasies? Who the fuck asked me to ask that? I should have just kept that shit. You so asked him that? I asked him oh, that. Oh, you opened the floodgates. Yeah, I was like, what are your he fantasies? Like, well, I'm glad he you was asked. Like, are you sure you want to hear this? I was like, yeah. He was like, okay, so you want to talk about it in the shower? I was like, okay, sure. But when he told me what it was, I kind of understood why he wanted to talk about it in the shower. You know what I'm saying? So he like, yeah, he really don't like girls. He kept it a buck. He was like, I really don't like girls. He was like, I work for the government. He was like, I just thought you were so cute. And I didn't mind asking you to try some stuff out with me. I'm like, what? He was like, yeah, he was like, I've never tried it before, but I'm really interested. I'm like, I'm down. I was just like, I'm down, just bugging. Yeah. This nigga opened up a closet full of sex toys. Yo, this is like a fucking movie. Imagine this shit, bro. I'm 18 in a whole new state. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Bro, I see butt plugs. I see fucking canes. I see whips. And then he pulled out the whips and I was whipping the shit out of him. Like, I was like, and I just loved whooping the shit and out of him. And it was for him. He it had was butt for plus. him. Bro, it was for him. But then he was telling me he never did it before. So it's like we kind of got had to slowly get in there. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, Jesus. And then when we did, it was like, it was hurting, but not really. But then he started liking it. And then I liked the fact that he was moaning like a bitch. Because it's like, you know, most men be trying to not moan when you have a sex. They want to keep it cool, calm, and collected. Like, it's not really hitting like that. I just say, I just be like, God damn. I say right? Because most men be like, uh, or like, damn. Damn. I want you to say my motherfucking name. Yeah. Say Juju. Say Juju. It's pussy, bro. Like, shit yeah. like that. Yeah. But like, long story Reassure. short. <laughs> <laughs> long story short, we did what we did. And it was just like, Wow, he just took me took me back to the dorm with all this liquor, and I'm just like, well, I they, didn't tell nobody yeah. because it's like, what the fuck? That's different. My friend was like, where you was at? I was like, girl, I went out to dinner, and then he been looking for me ever since. How how, how did you how <laughs> your perspective of him after that day was what? I just thought he wasn't for me. I just thought he was a freaky ass motherfucker. I just thought he was freaky. I didn't even judge him. You know why I didn't judge him? Because right. if I judge him, I had to judge my damn self. Because my you was doing had it. that motherfucking strap on on. Oh shit, you had a strap on? Yes, I did. Oh my god, my sister is here. This is so inappropriate, y'all. I had on a strap on. Jesus. I H. felt like the man. <laughs> That's what he wanted. Yeah, he wanted me. And I was calling him all types of names. I was and like, he suck liked this it. dick, bitch. He <laughs> liked it. Wait, he sucked the dildo? Let me ask you. Did he, did I he was suck the, like, suck this dick, Let me dick, ask bitch. you. Did he, he sucked it and he did he go? It. Did he go from and ass to mouth? And why his dildo was black? Why his dildo was black? This man was, when I tell you the whitest white man you're going to see, why did his he, dildo? Did he go from ass to mouth? Of course he did. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Kinky and stinky. Oh. Kinky and stinky. But I think, like, what they do is, like, they kind of, like, it's so gross, but I think they kind of, like, you know, flush that out or whatever. Flush what out? The insides. Of what? His ass? <laughs> the, I think. I didn't see it. I'm just saying. Inside. I'm assuming. But you know what's crazy? It wasn't what? nothing gross. It wasn't, like, no odors, no nothing. Because, like, you know, girls have anal, too. Like, yeah. But the thing is, what anal, you the person just got to know what the fuck they do. Have you ever done anal? Yeah, but I had, like, after I did it those few times, yeah. I never did it again because nobody else was hitting like that. It wasn't easy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like You said no one else was hitting it? What you saying? No, what, no, but no one else made me really want to do it. Like, you okay. know what I'm saying? It just wasn't as comfortable as before. So what made it comfortable then? I don't know. I just felt like, I don't know, maybe he just knew what he was doing or he just had a small dick. Which one was it? Was it both? I think it was both. Okay. Because, you know, the bigger the dick, the more it hurts. Yeah, I've had a girl that, like, told me how, like, she would do anal, and then I was hitting it from the back, and she was, like, put it in, and it... You know, you could come from your ass, though, but yeah, that shit, it's that just before. a lot of pain to get that shit in. Well, you have to go Once through trials and tribulations to, it, right. to even get to that But see, point. that's the thing with me. I didn't go through no trials and tribulations, because I don't need when I'm, like... 
50, I can't hold my continents, my booty hole leaking and shit. Bitches, mm. his booty hole be leaking. Be like this. Yeah, niggas, his booty hole be leaking. I wonder if they could sell that shit. Because you know, they do. So what? Did you know they do vaginal reconstruction surgery? I've heard. Bitches be so when they pussies back together. I've heard. I Break wonder that how down. painful that is. So I've heard that it's the lips that get tighter, but not the actual canal. Inside, oh, the actual no, canal doesn't. Can't yeah, you can't. The inside. That, I mean, if it's blown up, it's blown up. You That's can't so do stupid. About that. You're gonna go go through all that pain just to tighten up the lips, but once it go inside, well, because they want they the want the lips to do. Yeah, it. they want the lips to do the job that the canal is supposed to do because the canal blown up, so that can't do nothing anymore. No so they get the lips to compensate for the canal. So they get the lips to be tight. So you hitting it. Yeah, and you it's think going. it's the pussy that's tight, but it's the canal. But it's the I mean, canal. It's the, I mean, you it's think the it, lips. Yeah, it's the lips. <laughs> it's the lips. She, that's the banana in the tailpipe. <laughs> I'm telling you, all them bitches on Pornhub, because it's some bitches on Pornhub that's been on Pornhub for like 10 years, my nigga. Oh, with some vets. And your shit still look tight. You that's fixed it. You fixed it. Um, Have you ever ate ass? One in every four. What the <laughs> fuck did I just say? Ten minutes ago. Oh my god! Why am I saying all of this shit, Lord? One in every four. God damn it! I Yo, but honestly, I, I I don't judge you. I don't judge any woman oh that god. does it. Oh my god! I'm gonna need to block a few people on my IG when this post. Yeah, do that. I always be wanting them to look at this me. This is day and night. I think I have to change the name. I think whenever I have a woman on here that I know we're gonna talk about shit like this, I think I have to call it day and night. Right? Because it's like, I want to be honest. I ain't gonna cap about shit. Fuck. Yeah. It. Because day by day podcast is, you know, I've had, you know, people on there. We've had good professional conversations. Then I'll have like someone mm -hmm. like where, where we can be open mm -hmm. and we're talking about all types of shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> I think I need to call this day at night. This is day at night. This God is damn. day at night, y'all. How many asses have you ate? Oh, my God. You a freak, Juju. I know I'm a Scorpio. It's so bad. Yeah, uh... I've heard. So I'm a Sagittarius. They say Scorpios are the freakiest and Sagittarius are the best sex. Mm. Mm. Are they? I don't know. Have I ever been with a Sag? You would know if you have. You would know. I think I have a lot of great sex. Because I don't know what I want. What do you want? And you're going to make me come. I'm sorry, but that's just going to have to be like a part of the equation. Are you a director during sex? If you know what you're doing, I ain't going to direct you. But I sure will direct you if you don't know what you're doing. Because what the fuck is the point? Yeah. Now, I don't want to waste my time. If I'm having sex with you, it's because I want to. So mm -hmm. can we, like, have the best time? Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm trying to yeah. say? Like, I, I like to have a good time. It's Like, in high school, it's kind of like, whatever. I'm just trying to bust one to get out. But now I'm at the point where, like, I want to have, I want to go on an enjoy adventure. Enjoy every moment. I want to go on an adventure. Thank from, you. From like, can we go finish. on a... Like, can we start, like, I don't know. Let's like, take I, a long me, walk around the park after dark. I had to, like, I'm from Africa. I got circumcised when I was 14, right? What's that mean? Like, circumcision, you know how men get circumcised and they cut off, like, the like Did the extra skin? Clit? They Not all of it, just the tip of it. Luckily oh, for me, man. so I could still get aroused. But there's okay. people that have yeah, gotten... Yeah, that's an African like, right, ritual. Right, but there's people that have gotten circumcised that don't get aroused. Like, some oh, people were so... Oh. Uh, some people died from it. Yeah, like, I, I remember I, I, my I was... dad didn't want me to even get circumcised. He was really against it. So they did it behind his back because oh. his cousin died in the process. Yeah, when, that's... Yeah. So what's the point of doing that in Africa? So basically the point, it's like a traditional thing and they do it because they said it reduces your urges to have sex and it basically keeps you like keeps you from going to have sex until you're married because that's the culture most women are supposed to wait till they're married to you know have sex and that was kind of in my head like embedded in my head not only because it was said to me all the time but also because of the circumcision because i got circumcised at a very grown age at 14 so it was mm. like i was grown as hell like so i kind of had to deal with the pain at a conscious state and like wait for it to heal so it was like sex at first to me was really just an activity it wasn't mm. like, oh my God, this is fun. Like, but you say you they left enough to where you can get clitoral yeah, yeah, stimulation. Yeah, I have a clit. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> but you feel what I'm trying yeah, to say? Yeah, that's like, what, and so I like, feel that's something that needs to be stopped because it's yeah. ridiculous. Because even though they cut that part of and they want you to not get that feeling, you still gonna get urges. Right. Like you're you're just human. Like just because you cut a skin, like right. you know what I'm saying. Like, but yeah, I feel like it took me a while to. Um, understand my body 
and understand what I like. You know what I'm saying? Was it painful when you had to get that done? Yeah. Jesus. It was scary. I was screaming. But, you know, I healed pretty fast. So I'm not. Good. It was, and like, I, pretty fucking fast. And I'm glad you still have your click. Uh, uh, right? I'm glad I still have my click. Because imagine what life will be. <laughs> this is so crazy. But, um, so basically, that's what I'm trying to say. It's like, I don't know if that's the reason, but I felt like I didn't have sex really, really young. Like, you know how most people be having sex, like, you know, 13 to 16, most people have sex. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think I, I had sex, lie. like, probably, like, 12th grade going into 11th grade. I mean, going into college or whatever. And then at first, it just felt like an activity. Then in college, I made myself calm. And then I was just That was like, the first time you made yourself calm? Yeah. Because um, it wasn't how, that long. How'd you do it? With a vibrator. Yeah. Did you squirt? Are you a squirter? No, I am a squirt. Oh, my God. I am a squirter. Yeah, but you didn't squirt every time. No, it just takes the right person. It's the right person or the right spot to get hit or both? The right spot. Yeah. The little, a little bit of both because not everybody knows what they're doing. That's with men and women. Mm -hmm. And, like, sometimes, like, people get used to one person and that person likes stuff this way, but that doesn't work for somebody else, right. you know? One thing I love to do is like make a girl squirt for the first time. Really? Like that didn't even know she could squirt. Then she squirts. Yeah. But you know what I don't like? What? When I be watching porn or just in general, it's uh -huh. people pissing on motherfuckers and oh, yeah. talking about it squirt. That no, shit is no, the No, I've different. seen I've seen actual like yeah. I seen no, piss Suki piss. pissing on somebody oh, and geez. that shit was really pissed. I was mm. like, oh, I see what the fuck this bitch talking about. Nah, Y'all, it piss. was yellow and oil. Yeah, piss is piss. You can see that shit. Piss is piss. Piss is piss. And I just feel like bitches need to stop doing that shit because nah. that shit has a strong ass smell. To me, squirting is sexy as fuck. It the, is. The first time I had a girl squirt, it was, that's how I knew she was official. She squirted off of giving me head. Really? Oh, she a freak. Didn't even touch it. Oh, she a freak. Didn't even touch it. You know how freaky you have to be just to just fucking squirt like that? Yo, it's because, like, she, like, gagged. And, like, I guess the gagging made her squirt. Oh, she a freak. And she, because she was bent over. I remember it verbatim. She was bent over. I'm laying down on my bed. This is college, little twin size. No, I'm going. Those be the best. Right, right, right. So I'm laying down, and she bent over on the bed, giving me head, and, like, she went down. She went crazy down on my shit, and that shit just came out. That was the first time I've ever seen a chick squirt. Squirt. I know that's I, the best it feeling. Was, it was a rap ever since. Niggas be hyped. It was a rap ever that's since. That's all I'm going to say. Niggas love that shit. Yeah, I love squirting. I had a nigga tell me, like, yo, come piss on me real quick. Now, see. See, now that is hot. Nigga, come here. I'll piss on you right now. That's hot to you? Word. I mean, it's hot to him because he's talking. Did we you enjoy it? Did you go? Did shit. you go and piss on him? I just thought that was weird because did you go and I'm piss just on over him? here pissing and shit. Did you go and piss on him? <laughs> you did. You pissed on him. You gave him a golden shower. You Robert Kelly'd him. No, I haven't yet. Wait, you didn't do it? No, not yet. Not yet. Just you because want to? I don't know if I want to like I, piss on somebody. Like, and if I'm pissing on you, can we do that at your house? Because we're about to piss up in my motherfucking apartment. Like, l l fuck? lay down some, lay down some shit, lay down a tarp, yo. <laughs> There's a lot of people that like to get pissed on. People like to get pissed on. People like to get kicked in the balls. <laughs> people like to suck farts. <laughs> yeah, people like to have bitches like fart in their face. Toes, yo. Well, I mean, sucking toes. That's, suck toes is hot to me. You I was know, say, I'll suck toes. I, that's not, that, first... I don't think sucking toes is too out of the... But you know, to me, when when I first got in... Yo, first of all, when I was in high school, 12th grade, I went to prom with like a mohawk, right? I gotta send you that picture. You had a mohawk? Yes. Yeah, I never that. give a fuck. It was like freedom at last. Okay, yes. Yeah, my mom that. always braided my hair. I could finally not get no fucking braids. So yeah. I shaved that shit out. So why am I at the barbershop on the night of my prom getting a haircut to go to prom? That okay. shit was crazy. They put a design in the oh, back. Oh, you went Roscoe I Dash was, on them. Yo, what? R O S C O E. <laughs> I was dragging it. So this nigga go, oh, you cute as fuck. Your toes look cute. I'm like, oh, shit. Bro, I'm like 17. It's given, right? So he like, oh, what you doing after your graduation? I'm like, oh, I don't know. He was like, oh, you should come over. I was like, oh, I'm coming up. Bro, I was like, yo, what the fuck? Like, he got me squirting. He's sucking on my toes, but he had all my feet in his mouth. All of them? Like, the whole, all of them. Like, I've only done a big toe. And that shit was different because it's like... This is new, and it actually is sensational. Like, it really told you wrong. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just thought it was kind of weird, but then it was just like, 
Yeah, toes are cool. I don't mind toes. Like people, some people have like a fear of toes, and some people yeah, have some a. Some people really do. They be like, don't put your toes yeah, on like, me. Yeah, like don't touch me. And then right. some people have a fetish for, for feet toes. and toes. I'm like in the middle. I don't mind them. I I've never I done sexy, all. I've like done all I've done a big toe. Let I've me tell you, toe. people be dragging it. Some people are really a drag. People will suck on your heels, yeah. like the bottom of your like, and that that part is the best part, well, like the bottom. Yeah, it's I'm not. Cool. Oh, look in the bottom of the yes. heel. Like that? <laughs> I know the bottom of like right here. Oh, the bottom, the arc, the bottom like of the, the foot. arch right here, right here. Yeah, that's the best part. Yeah, yeah. Should I try that out? You should. She gonna be like, oh, what the fuck. Cause the thing is, when you hitting it from the front, you got her legs up, yeah. And when the so foot you right have there, the arch like. that's when you go crazy with the feet. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna gotta try that out. Listen, we taking notes, fellas. <laughs> we taking notes, oh baby. Oh my god, so All inappropriate. Right. I'm, I'm gonna try that out. I'm gonna try that out. God damn it. Yes, um, sir. All right, but yeah. So, well, I'm just glad that. Uh, matter of fact, we ain't escaping this. <laughs> I what? asked how many ash have you ate? Cause like I said, one in every four women, day by day study. <laughs> One in every four women. Oh my God, guys, don't judge me. Okay. I've ate S before. We can talk about it. I think I ate like three. Three. Four. So did they? Did they ask for it? Or did you initiate? Who initiated? I think it's me. I think I'm a mess. You're a freak. I think I'm just like you know, like you are a fucking freak. And ask that nigga about me. Embrace that shit. That's what I'm talking about. You ain't got to yeah. be ashamed But about you know, I'm not ashamed. I just be trying to keep it out the eye of the public. Because y'all don't need to know that. My Instagram already be annoying. Just the little shit I be posting. People, they like, you know how many times people are like, I'm trying to marry you. How the fuck you trying to marry me? And I got my ass out. That's just all wrong. That's just crazy, <laughs> man. More, more so it's like. Priorities are fucked. Oh my God, this is going to be so lit. You got a TikTok? I do. Yeah. We should post it on TikTok. What, this? Oh yeah, I posted on. Yeah, this this goes TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, IG. YouTube, my yeah. dad could find me on YouTube. <laughs> well, it'll be on my joint. It's like, nah, I'm so kidding. like, I'll tag he didn't you. Check it for me. Okay, I was like, I'll tag you, but like I said, my grandmother watched this shit. So oh my god, this is cool. I like this because you know why? why? I feel like for the longest, I go to podcasts and I just try to filter what I say because you know I don't want people to just not that I don't want people, but that's just what I do in my private life, like. Yeah. Because, you know, you see one thing and then I'm really totally different from what you see on social media. Like, because yeah. I put what I want to put out there, whatever goes with what I'm trying to sell for yeah. right now. Because I do hair. I have a salon that I do hair on okay. the daily. Um, I'm in school. Um, I'm low-key OD, like a low-key genius, but not really. Um I'm like yes, a nerd. Really. Don't take it away from yourself. That's <laughs> yes, really you are. But and like a nerd, and like I like all types of music. I'm not just like if it sounds good, I'm gonna listen to it. It don't matter if it's Spanish, Asian, Indian. Like I grew up watching Indian movies and like Spanish no, like, telenovela. That ass. They, yeah. Like oh my god, is this movie called Doom? They be like Doom Majale. Yeah, yeah, that's some <laughs> that's some real Indian shit. <laughs> no, for real. So you know, I feel like I have so much versatility, and I'm just like open to learn. But it's just just like I know sex sells, so I put that on my social media because yeah. that's fine. I mean, I, that's <laughs> what I do with these clips. But I mean, yeah, I do it with these clips as far as like the shit that I t like the sex sell. The sex does sell. Like any clip I have that's talking about fucking or dating an ass. Well, it, and it how does much numbers. you want to bet, Dick? It Thank does you. Numbers. You just said it. But at the same time, um, you know, not everyone can have these type of talks. Like yeah. like you said, you watch podcasts you're thinking about filtering mm -hmm. it's a lot of people i know that that are filtered on ig podcasts yeah. that are not yeah. living their fucking truths i never wanted this to be that i was like you know what when i set my podcast up fuck it day at night especially it is what it is mm -hmm. i'm gonna talk the fucking truth i'm gonna talk how i feel i'm not gonna hold back i don't care who sees it mm -hmm. if you don't want to listen to it don't tune in because i'm gonna post this shit right i'm gonna talk what i feel my guests gonna talk what they feel mm -hmm. um i had a guest a couple of episodes ago who who kind of rubbed me the wrong way because mm -hmm. i posted a clip Mm -hmm. And it was about something that she gave her honest opinion on. Mm -hmm. And she I, got mad. I posted it because people were and Liking at first it. she ain't say nothing. Mm -hmm. And people were coming for her. Cause oh, it's like you don't so make no fucking mad. sense. Right. So she got mad, asked me to but take that's it down. The internet. 
that. Even with my hair video, they'd be like, oh, I don't like this. And this yo, ain't for me. Like, who gives a damn? It's not true. she's a content creator. Mm-hmm. I'm like, how you going to let them back you out of your opinion? They're going to talk shit. Yeah, like, it comes with it. Yo, I posted a video on Facebook about the Hey Y'all song with mm-hmm. Andre 3000. Mm-hmm. It's about 300 comments on that video. 280 of them were people negative. coming for my fucking neck. Mm-hmm. And now those 284 people literally told me to kill my fucking mm-hmm. self. Over that shit. <laughs> I ain't give a fuck. That's like I'm my like, off the top video. Yo. It's pinned on my page, but 99% of the people talking about she said nigga like 10 times. She should have just twerked. It's so much negative shit, but do I give a fuck? It's still impressions. You want to know something? That um, <laughs> Shout out to uh, Shark from No Jumper. He's selling his IG. He said, you want to know something funny about all those people that got something negative to say about they your content? They be miserable. You never run into them at the bank. At all. They be broke as hell in their mama house, really, really checking for you. They don't like you, but they're going to search you in the tab. Like how you don't follow me, but I'm in your search bar. The best uh-huh. part, the best part of their day is commenting some negative shit, spreading some negative energy towards something you putting out in the world. Yeah, that's the height of their day. Yeah, the height of our day is making content and. And let me tell you some shit. I have a bloggers page on okay. TikTok, so right. that's really how I promote my music too. Like I will post celebrity news, but just have my music in the background. Okay, that's smart. I have a video with 1.3 million views. Like my shit be viral for real. <laughs> But long story short, they going to talk shit about everybody. Always. Like, I have a, a one video I posted. It has 5,000 comments of people talking shit about somebody. Like, uh-huh. they don't even know. Like, and people talking about, well, I heard this. They really go. It's like the more known you are, the more people have negative oh, yeah. shit to say. So it's like, you shouldn't even give a fuck about that because the more they click on it, that's impressions. Negative. Sometimes negative impressions is even better because the people that be getting negative impressions still get paid. You're helping the algorithm regardless. Yeah, and pe- and people have commented on my little naked pictures talking about the Lord is coming tomorrow. Change your life. Jesus. They but hate- you probably fucking on somebody's daughter. You want to know something? They hated on Jesus. Yeah. That's but see, right that's there. the thing. That's a whole nother topic, like... It is. See, like, I'm Christian now, but I've been looking into all of the, like, black people that created history and how mm-hmm. all the stories just come together. There's so many questions. It's buried. It's a lot of shit that's buried out yeah, here. Yeah, because they don't want us to know that Jesus wasn't even named Jesus for real. It's a, it's a, it's a, <laughs> but I'm not going to have that conversation. Yeah, we can run it back. It's a lot of shit that's we buried. Can. It's a lot of shit that's buried, especially in <laughs> Egypt, figuratively and literally. It's a lot of shit buried Let in Egypt. Let me tell you, they was basically saying that they came and saw all of this stuff that was written on the walls mm-hmm. from our people and mm-hmm. interpreted it in the wrong way to basically pursue their agenda to yeah. make their but to be honest i always knew that because it's just so weird to me that there was the world way before all of this stuff and then everything y'all saying is like oh you could have slaves like y'all literally have in the bible that yeah. it's okay to have slaves like i just feel like that was put in there and they said that the the what's the kings and shit was putting mm-hmm. stuff in there to basically promote their agenda to be a leader which makes sense because religion and politics go together so it's just like i don't know i just feel like in life just do the right thing be nice to others but all of this shit we really don't know i feel like we really don't did you see that they said that they have aliens did you see the whole press conference about the aliens and you see how nobody budged like exactly. we've been we've been new what the fuck they that was a cover up for something nobody even give a damn they covered um so i learned this in college um a lot of the sculptures uh um big fuck why can't I, uh statues mm-hmm. sculptures everything in egypt if you notice a lot of them their noses are cut off or mm-hmm. chipped off mm-hmm. That was on purpose. Yeah. Because what's one thing that's distinctive amongst a lot of black people? Our noses. Mm-hmm. So a lot of things in Egypt depicted our noses. Mm-hmm. So then, you know, a lot of colonizers went into that and broke off their noses because that's what separated the... Um, then they it was easier for them to persuade to be they were white. Mm-hmm. And we were black. And you know, that wasn't even a description before. The scholars said that it was always like... This, like, their color, think about it. That's not really white. Like, white is white, like yeah. that. There's it's like, like they had to, yeah, type. make them. There's a, I, they said that their race was falling out, so they had to make themselves more superior. Oh my god, I'm just into so much. Like, we can, we can, <laughs> we can, we can talk about it. It gets oh deep. Oh my god, it gets deep. It gets we can talk so about deep. it. And this is documentary on Tubi. I think you should really watch. What's it called? I forgot the name, but I'm going to send it to you because I watched the whole thing. And when I tell you, they get into so much detail. It just makes you realize that we're kings and queens and we created this shit. 
We and literally that's just rule. That. We are literally supreme beings. We are. We have just been mind controlled, mind controlled, brainwashed, years. and deprogrammed into thinking that we're the scum. Thank we you. We literally run this fucking world. We do. Bro. But we're just we we just allowed them to put us in a trap, and we stayed in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cause think about it, two black people, two white people can't make a black child, but two black people can make a white child. Have you ever seen that? No. There's this lady in Nigeria. Which one, albino, albino. Not even albino. Yeah, albino. Yeah. That's one. Cause yeah. them albinos look very white. Yeah. That's one. But two, it be times that two dark skin. Like my sister, you see how she light skin. We have the same mom and dad. Mm-hmm. But my dad is not light skin. Neither is my mom. And we took a DNA test to come to America. So we know that's our dad, yeah. but she just has like a lighter shade. Okay. There's this couple in um Nigeria. They never had kids for like 20 years. Mm. So they said they went to the beach and they were just making a wish. Next day, the lady, probably like a few months later, she got pregnant. Mm-hmm. Why the baby came out with blonde hair and the baby was white? So everybody was like, oh, you need to go get a DNA test. Da, 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 da. That was their baby. Mm. And that goes to question, like, that's crazy. What if they came from us? Oh, we, we, Africa is where all life came from. That's what I think. But, but that's, a, yeah. we can, we can, yeah, we can go that's down. That's like a whole yeah, topic, yeah, 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 but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We can, we can, we can go down that. Um, yeah, I'm a, but we don't need to talk about that because people, I feel like people don't really want to hear you it. Sis? <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna tell y'all right now. The best part of this episode was sis over here going up. going through life stages, trying Are to keep it back? together. And me and Juju just every five minutes looking, looking over, over over there. there, like, "Yo, is she good? What's what's happening right now?" Oh my god! Um, listen, Juju, this was this was amazing talk. I know we were so lit. We don't talk about freaky shit. We don't talk about New York. We don't talk about music. We don't talk about where life came from. We're gonna have to run this back. Um, yeah. I'm gonna get a third joint, and we are gonna get sis in the mix <laughs> without place. Casamigos next time. No Casamigos. Yeah. No, no, oh, no. imagine if we would have got the bigger bottle. Oh my god. Yeah, y'all. We wouldn't have been able to have done this. I would have to leave. I mean, I'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, but she. Yeah, we would have had to. We had to. We would have had to wrap <laughs> Keep this her up. Over yeah, there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, before you get out of here, just let people know where they can find you, what you got coming out. Just get your shit off right quick. Hey y'all, I'm Juju from that bando. I'm on all motherfucking platforms. I got my single drip drop coming soon. Look out for it. You know, I be everywhere in and out of cities. I'm in your city all the time. Like, yeah, you nigga like me. Um I love your accent. And Wu Tang. I see Wu Tang on the wall. Tell Riz that to sign me. I'm obsessed with Wu Tang. Low key, watch Woo. the whole show. All right, um, before you get out of here, let's do this. Pick, I think I'm gonna do this with every guest. You just gave me an idea. Pick uh-huh. one album on the wall, just one. Um, I'm gonna just say Wu Tang because I'm obsessed. The first one, Enter the Wu, Thirty Six yes. Chambers. Yes. Okay. Nice. Nice. I'm not gonna say a song, but I really, like I said, I'm from Africa, but I really got into Wu Tang when I started watching the show because it's so weird. When I first came out here, I saw people wearing the Wu Tang shirt. Yeah, I had the, a damn Wu Tang shirt from the thrift store. And you didn't even know what it was. I didn't even know. I was. I some Asian ass shit. Nah, Wu was revolutionary. Wu was for the children. It Wu was. was. Oh my God. I love RZA. Yeah. RZA's the fucking goat and is yeah. a real nigga because yeah. he was able to put all motherfuckers with different yeah. people that just couldn't even fucking get along. Right. Like, Literally, what about they were... Ghostface and um, what's his face? But yeah, they just Ghostface couldn't. Ghostface and Raekwon. They couldn't they're, get they're along. They're best friends now but they they were from rival hoods. Exactly. Park Hill and somewhere else. Exactly. And, and, uh, and they were and shooting Shaolin. at each other at first yeah. and then the other dude that was with uh Raekwon mm-hmm. he ended up coming up with the whole label with the clothing and shit it was oh, it's just um, uh I forgot his name on, was it Kappa? I, can't I think it's Kappa, but I just think everybody knew their role yeah. everybody came together he put it together beautifully and he was such a goat. I feel like he had so much like people trying to bring him down and yeah, all Riz, the stuff around him. Rizza is one of a kind. Rizza, I've been in his DM. Rizza, come the fuck one. Like, I'm going to tag you. You want Rizza to tear that ass up? <laughs> no, I want Rizza to sign me because I should be the new voice of Wu-Tang. Yeah. Wu-Tang in the city. Uh-huh. Well, maybe we can start Bad our... bitch because I'm litty. We... Okay. <laughs> I like that. We can start our own Wu-Tang. I'll be Rizza. I'll get about four of you. Mm-hmm. Put y'all together like four Voltron. Four me? I don't know if I'm going to get along well, with no, the no, rest no. of me. I meant four, <laughs> four women. We'll, we'll reverse it. We'll do a women's Wu-Tang. Yes, but you that shit go end so bad. You know we can't get along. Woman Wu. We're going to be like, who's the Beyonce? 
Who's nah. the Beyonce of See, the group? See, that's the thing about Wu Tang. Everyone was equal. There was no standout. There was, but there was always. RZA and um, Method, Man. Method Man. Well, well, Method see, Man was fine. I well, think it's just because he was fine. Well, let's do this. Let's talk. Let's end on this note. The thing was, RZA had lay, he laid out each and every person's mm -hmm. strength and mm -hmm. what they were going to be known for. Right. He specifically told Method Man he was going to be the ladies' man. He was. He said, Meth, you're going to be the one attracting ladies. He said this in the 90s. And he still is. Yeah, and Meth at first wasn't with it, truth mm -hmm. be told. He was um, free. But then he did the joint with Mary J. Blige and then he's acting. So it laid out perfect. He said, mm -hmm. Jizza was going to be like the scientific nerdy type mm -hmm. to attract like the nerdy individuals and whatnot. And lo and behold, that's what Jizza did. He said, Raekwon and mm -hmm. um and Ghostface, y'all going to be the, the gangsters. Mm -hmm. Y'all going to attract the gangsters. Y'all going to attract the street niggas. Mm -hmm. And that's what they did with Only Built, only built for sure Cuban Links. Right? So each person was known, like he laid out what each and every person was going to do. And that's what ended up happening. Is it bad that the drug addict was my favorite? <laughs> ODB? <laughs> yeah. It was everyone's. I think he was, he a lot was of people's my favorite. fave because he just didn't give a fuck. Oh, dude, that's why his name was Old Dirty Bastard. His, <laughs> like, his style, his shit. style had no father to it. It was yeah. the Old Dirty Bastard. But um, we ready to get out of here. We um, are. Did you did you tell everybody where they can find you? How they Juju from the band on all platforms, y'all. At me, I'm a tag. <laughs> I on follow everything. back. I go, they going they going they going to want to look you up. They going to be like, yeah. <laughs> After she, all this yeah, shit, y'all. Yeah, they going to be like, oh yeah, let me see that ass. Let me see what she <laughs> look. Yeah, they going to want to follow you. I'm oh, gonna put it everywhere. I'm gonna put, you know, what I'm saying all our info in the, um, in the mix and the bio and all that. But, and um, nobody better call me asking if I was talking about them, cause I was talking about you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Same. It is what it is. That it part. is what it is. Um, but everyone, oh God, let me go get you some tissue. Yeah, everyone tuning in. I truly appreciate y'all from the bottom of my heart. Um, I just ask that you like, subscribe, share it out. Um, give feedback on the podcast. I'm gonna leave the questionnaire at the bottom of the podcast in the bio so you can fill that out. Um, and I'd like to thank Juju again for pulling up. You know what I'm saying? We did it. We got it done. Had some great convo. She shut the shit down. Yeah. My uh, sister drunk though, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sis is over there pilt. Um, but until next time, ladies and gentlemen, make sure that y'all stay safe, stay sane, but most importantly, stay blessed. Oh, wow. You good? No, I was trying to stand up, but you're not done. I am done. And you oh. remember you said I was like, Do you want to show it? You was like, when I walk away, I was gonna like, say they they gonna wanna see it. Okay. Yeah, she got a little yeah. <laughs> She got a little yada me. I'm going to walk back. I'm going to walk back. Damn. Don't hurt him. <laughs> All right, y'all. We out. Peace.